Dr. Amy Tan is a family physician and she joins us from BC. She used to work in Alberta. And also Dr. Dale Kalina, he is an infectious disease physician and he joins us now from Ontario, Burlington, Ontario. Welcome back to you both. I know you are listening in. Dr. Tan, let me start with you. Quite a series of restrictions being announced by the Premier and his team. What's your take? So yes, I think there was a lot of details um, and there were some good measures put in, in place to help, namely the phone alert app that will show every Albertan that we are in fact in a state of emergency and um, the no social gatherings at all indoors. I think those are good starts. I am very concerned though that this is not going to be enough given what has happened already and we know that hospital capacity is already overwhelmed and will continue for at least the next two to three weeks and I'm concerned that this is not going to be strong enough um, to be bending the curve in the way it needs to effectively right now. Okay, let me uh, go over to Dr. Kalina. First of all, just your thoughts on what was announced, and then I want to dig into social gatherings a bit more, but go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, there were some great measures, I think, and I, I'm very happy with the fact that the Premier uh, nuanced the fact that these gatherings, personal gatherings and things like that, social gatherings are where we are seeing a lot of these cases. Um, I thought it was interesting to hear the division between, uh, you know, grades 7 to 12 that are going online. Uh, but at the same time, I, I, it is a little bit frustrating to see that um, places, frankly, where they're serving alcohol um, later into the night are still staying open. At the end of the day, infection prevention and control measures and alcohol really don't mix very well. Yeah, I find it interesting, and both of you can jump in on this if you want, that every province seems to think transmission is happening differently, right? Alberta saying people are going back and forth and visiting, and that's where we're seeing a big part of the transmission. But um, Quebec is saying, look, bars and restaurants have been a big part of the problem here. Uh, do you think that every province has different problems and so should attack them differently? Dr. Tan, do you agree that, that individual provinces need to take an individual approach? No, I actually don't. I think there's more than enough evidence that shows that restaurants where people are mixing relaxed and drinking alcohol are in an indoor space is high risk. We know this from the CDC study. We know this from other studies in other jurisdictions. And a point I'd like to make specific to Alberta is 80% of the cases are not able to be traced right now. So how can anybody actually say, in fact, that there is no transmission happening in this environment. And that's the one thing that really concerns me. Dr. Kalina, where are you on different provinces attacking things different ways? I mean, all of the measures need to be reflective of what public health authorities are actually seeing in those jurisdictions. But I agree with Dr. Tan. I, at the end of the day, we do know where and how this disease gets transmitted. Uh, so as I said, uh, if you're mixing the disease plus people with alcohol, you get people that are close. You get people that aren't wearing masks, and that's how it spreads. So to that end, it is the same. It's the same virus across all the provinces. 